With military aid for U.S. allies still on hold and the government just days away from a shutdown, President Biden has some words for Congress, summoning the top Republican and Democrat lawmakers to the White House Tuesday. It's a, Congress's responsibility from the government. We've got to get about doing a shutdown would damage the economy significantly, and I think we all agree to that, and we need a bipartisan solution. So uh, I want to hear from the group. Congress has until Friday to pass a new budget, but the House is not back in session until Wednesday, giving lawmakers little time to stop shutdown signs from going up. This will be, go down in history as the least productive, the absolute least productive Congress in the history of the United States of America. None of that is a good look, and it's not good for the country. If the House and Senate can't get on the same page, parts of the government will start shutting down Saturday, including the Departments of Veteran Affairs, Agriculture, Housing and Transportation. The rest will shut down the following weekend, but lawmakers aren't throwing in the towel yet. A shutdown this week is entirely avoidable. There's every reason in the world for both sides to work together this week and in the weeks to come. Border security is one sticking point keeping Republicans from passing a spending bill. They want to remove Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, but that impeachment trial is likely on hold until the government is funded. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.